Well hello, once again, this is me Leonard Wells broadcasting as usual from Haslingdon, north of Manchester in the UK, on Sunday the 11th of September 2011. Until a few years ago I tended to wear blazer and trousers, that was the kind of outfit which men of my age wore. But anyway, after acquiring a wonderful girlfriend in Romania, with her encouragement, I tried wearing jeans, which apparently are very fashionable. You've only got to walk down Kensington High Street in London to see all the Italian girls wearing the latest style of jeans. Oh, they haven't really changed much. It's rather odd, isn't it, that we've got this um, rather cheap-looking clothes, which are the fashion. Anyway, they're sturdy, they're strong, all right, they're not very colourful, um, and it's very difficult to get a colour in a jacket which matches the trousers, because apparently, I was told, in Debenhams, where I went to buy them, in Manchester, that the people who make the trousers don't make the jackets or the shirts, so it seems a bit strange to me. Anyway, what I'm coming to is this. In order to go the whole hog, I never do tend to do things by halves, which is one of the reasons I'm, I never progressed very far in this life. Um, I um, bought what is called a Texan cowboy or bowler tie. And this tie, and I've got one here to show you, consists of a brooch, which is quite nice. They have different, different, lots of different designs. And attached to the back are two metal cords, a sort of loop. And then when you put it on, you just pull until the brooch is at the top. And in this case, in mine, I have this nice blue cross brooch, which pulls up to wear like a normal tie does. And then, because with jeans, particularly with, with the kind of shirts which go with um, jeans and things and denim, the um, collar isn't particularly stiff. So this kind of tie works. And even if you've only got a, a, a shirt with a tiny collar, it will work. Uh, and then you can tuck the uh, cords, if you like, or into inside the shirt, or you can leave them hanging out just as you wish. And the company that makes them is called Bucklebox. Bucklebox. And in addition to making the ties, they also sell belts, different coloured belts. Not just brown, but black and green and yellow and all kinds of things. And they make different kinds of buckles. This was initially what the company was about, making buckles for belts. And they've got hundreds of lovely designs. This one is a Union Jack. I like it because it's in the form of a cross. The, you see the cross? <coughs> and I like to wear a cross because I get very pushed off when I read in the paper that somebody who wears a cross on the neck gets the sack from work. And the, the buckle I'm wearing at the moment, if you can see it, is called a Norse cross. And these buckles attached to the belt very easily to um, press studs and the buckle is off and you can replace it with with the next one. So I could have the Union Jack or I can have this Norse Cross here. I hope you can see them re relatively simple. I'm going to come closer to the camera. I'll have to stand up a bit for you to see it. That's the Norse Cross that I'm wearing now and this one is the uh, Union Jack, which uh, and they switch over very easily, and you can have as many a, a big collection of these and wear a different one every day. And when you buy them, which are all by mail order because it's an online uh, company, they give you this little plastic support so that you can stand them up on the mantelpiece in a row and display them to everybody around. And they have um, hundreds and hundreds and literally hundreds, well, not millions, but you know what I mean, lots and lots and lots of choices. 
You've got all kinds of school crosses and motorcycles and musical instruments and aircraft and cars uh, and playing cards. Just fantastic collection. I can't show you them all and I don't have time. There's a few of the belts, the different coloured belts. Um, some more of the different ties. All beautiful designs. I mean this one I like also, which I'm going to wear when I go to Romania short in, in the near future. This one is a horse on a red background, which is quite attractive. The only slight drawback, if you travel a lot, is that these, these are metal. So you're going to have to take them off when you go through the airport security. But <laughs> since I'm making this broadcast on 9-11, effectively, on the date, 10 years anniversary of 9-11, um, it's thanks to them that we have airport security. Give a lot of people jobs. Unnecessarily uh, jobs in one sense, but thanks to what happened 10 years ago, um, very necessary. So this company, Bucklebox, they're quite reasonably priced, very efficient and effective quick service. Bucklebox, www bucklebox.co.uk bucklebox.co.uk that's bowler ties lots and lots of choices send for the catalogue or well you'll get the catalogue when you order but you'll see all the products on, on uh, online uh, and it's um, it's quite interesting it makes a change and it's nice to see um, something doing well in Britain so, there you have it, Bucklebox makes a, makes a complete change and it's eye-catching, people look twice at it. I like it in my own case, this one, because it's a cross. And I'm going to say cheerio now, and you'll understand when I say God bless, while it's still legal here in the UK to say God bless, take care and bye for now.